everyone, and welcome to ALB, Place to Trade. Before we begin today's market commentary, please do take a moment to review the disclaimer on screen. Please be advised that there is an, an inherent risk involved in trading the financial markets. You can refer to our website for further details, and if in doubt, please do contact a financial consultant. For Tuesday, the 23rd of July 2019, we only have one high impact news scheduled this afternoon, and that relates to the uh, US existing home sales, which is scheduled at 4 p.m. CT. What we've seen over the course uh, of last week is that we've seen quite a bit of strength coming into the US uh, dollar. We've seen uh, the majority of the data that came out, high impact data that is, uh, be fairly uh, positive for the US dollar. With the exception of the uh, US building permits, which came below um, uh, below expectation at 1.22 million versus the forecast of 1.3 million. All the other data that came out throughout the rest of the week was fairly positive. We did see uh, core retail sales and retail sales figures come out at 0.4% above the forecast of 0.1%. We also saw a crude oil inventories coming out uh, better than expected. Obviously, this was on the backdrop of the renegotiation or, or, or the starts of, a, of, a, of, of talks between the US and Iran. And as a result, that shortage in, in the the, in, in crude oil uh, was no longer a, a concern and as a result we saw the price of crude, crude oil sell off and then we then got the data to support that on Wednesday last week where we saw the crude oil inventories come down better than expected at minus 3.116 million versus the forecast of minus 2.694 million. Um, and then in, on, Friday, on Thursday, we also had uh, the Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index for July come out better than expected at 21.8 versus the forecast of 5.0. So we, we've seen over the last quarter, over the last week, a, a, a considerable amount of, of positive news for the U.S. dollar. And as a result, we saw the dollar index rally in value by 0.36 uh, percent, um, uh, which indicates uh, further strength and which we will look, we'll be looking at um, fairly shortly. I believe the dollar index is currently now in a potential bull trend, uh, a bull flag, uh, with the potential of going as high as uh, 99.1, with but obviously testing its recent highs around the 98 level. But shifting our attention to today's data, uh, um, where we have the existing home sales, we do know that for the past month, we the uh, existing home sales rose by 2.5% from the previous month to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 5.35 4 million in May of 2019. Uh, this follows an upwardly revised 5.21 million and compares to a market expectation of 5.25 million, so uh, a, a slightly less bullish figure in that respect. But we also know that the median house prices increased uh, to 277,700 from the 266,900 in April and the 265,100 the year before. So. There is that upward trend in the housing market, which will be very bullish in terms of consumer spending, as well as strength in the overall U.S. economy. Um, as well as the uh, month's worth of supply went up by uh, went up to 4.3 percent um, from the 4.2 in April. Year-on-year -year, existing home sales, although, has dropped 1.1 percent. So, even though we are seeing upward trends in the housing market. Um, we are we are well we are currently uh, also experiencing a one per one point one percent drop uh, in that area. So um, still some positive news, although there is obviously ground to be t to be made. Um, for the previous month, we have a figure of 5.34 million versus the forecast of 5.33 million. So a figure that comes out uh, later on this afternoon above the 5.33 will be considered uh, as very pos positive for the US uh, dollar as well as the US economy. At this juncture, let's just have a quick look at the charts and see what the current market, uh, what, the, what the current conditions are in the market. What you've got on, on screen is the dollar index. Uh, currently uh, at 97.45. What we've seen um, is that over the course of last week, I'm just going to switch over to the weekly time frame, we did see it close at uh, 97.07 it, it, as, and as a result it was up by 0.36%. As of this week we're already above the, 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 the uh, percentage growth at 0.39%. So we're seeing a bit more strength also in the uh, dollar index which would be very strong which is very positive for the dollar index and potentially 
could be signaling some weakness in gold and potentially the S&P and other indices as well. If we look at the uh, dollar index on the daily time frame, what do we, we also see is that we, we've been in this channel which started around the 23rd of May. Uh, from, from a high of uh, 98.37 to a low of 95.84. We've then proceeded to break out of it uh, and now formed a new channel which I'm just extending on screen. Now the price at the moment is at 97.46 and it's currently just testing the upper bounds of that trend line. If we do break and close above this level, then um, the expectation in my view would be to see the dollar move higher. And in that respect, we'd be looking at the 98 to 90, 98.37 to as the first area uh, of uh, first target, and then potentially around 99 to 99.10. 99 um, if that were to happen, then we would potentially see more weakness come into the S&P 500. We are obviously at new new time highs, uh, although we have pulled back below the 3,000 and currently at uh, 29.89.3. Um, we are still in that upward trend as can be seen as from this uh, upward sloping channel. If we do break out of that channel to the downside, then realistically, we can obviously uh, attempt to test these highs here around 2059, as well as come back to retest the lows at uh, 2911, which will then add validity to the strength that we see in the, uh, in the dollar index. If we shift our attention to uh, crude oil, um, we can see that crude oil at the moment is currently trading around 56.32. Um, my expectation uh, on crude oil, especially uh, for th for this coming week, uh, will be to perhaps see it retrace towards the uh, 55.50 to 50 level. And once that area is reached and we do get some sort of bullish candle or, or volume come in to support the 55 level, then I'd be looking to go long on crude at 55. Uh, stops around 54 to 53.80 and then targeting the highs around 62 to 63 on crude oil. Um, looking at gold, we do see uh, um, a very, very interesting um, scenario here. We've seen gold test reach the highs of uh, 14.52 and subsequently pull back uh, rather significantly. We're currently at uh, 14.18.92. The candle that we had or the close of yesterday formed a bearish uh, doji and now price is obviously trading below that so that gives me further concern that we are that, that, that potentially there may be a bit more weakness on gold from a technical point of view also we have gold now testing this trend line which i am also extending on screen uh, and that comes in around 1412 if we shift to the two hour time frame to get a better perspective of that so 1412 is where we do see uh the the trend line where, where i'm expecting um goal to retest if that does come to come to play then i would be looking for bullish close uh in around that region with the expectation to try and retest the highs around 1450 and my stops will be around 1398 to about 1395 uh for the re for the remainder of this week i think the uh, the um high impact news that will be of great interest to the markets will be uh, potentially the crude oil inventories which will be on wednesday around 4 30 4 30 pm ct as well as the ecb monetary policy statement and interest rate uh, decision which will be coming out on thursday the 25th around between 1 35 1 45 pm to 2 30 pm cet so those will be the key markets to focus on i believe for this week and as a result, the euro, uh, the dollar, the dollar uh, pairs will be key markets. But I'll also keep an eye on gold as well as crude oil and the uh, indices just to give me a better sense of what the overall market is. And potentially these markets have been rather um, positive and very uh, um, active over the last couple of weeks. So therefore, if we do get any movement um, in these markets, uh, then uh, I'd be looking at these pairs, uh, these financial instruments as well, uh, to trade uh, accordingly. Um, that brings us to the end of today's uh, market commentary. Do take a moment once again to review the disclaimer on screen. If you'd like to discuss any of the, any of the matters raised um, in this, in this uh, review, you can do so by contacting us via the medium shown on screen. And my colleagues and I would be more than delighted to assist you with any queries you may have. We'd like to take this moment to thank you for your time and wish you the very best in your trading and investment decisions. All the very best.
Take care. Thank you.